you come upon this, you're like, oh wow, this is the most gorgeous thing I have ever seen. So if I want to create the world's worst hotel, then I'm going to have to use the world's worst blocks. And where else better to find them than the nether? Except the thing is, I don't even have a nether portal yet, and all the ones in the area are completely broken. I think the easiest way is to just find a large cave and either find a lava pool or find diamonds. So I'm running along this sand cave, and there is a lot of sand on the roof. Like, I know that's what's to be expected, but also... That's really scary. Luckily, after about five minutes, I came across this mine shaft and also a big giant drop down there, which I'm going to ignore. Cause you know, I, I don't feel like dying today. This skeleton's just shooting me and then hiding up there. Like what is up with that? Seriously. Skeleton, I'm about to teach you a lesson about being rude. Haha, -ha, death is your punishment. Ooh, light. And one whole bucket of lava collected. So I came up with the brilliant idea to complete the portal near my house. However, the mine shaft had nothing to offer, so I headed back to the drop at the beginning. I'm ready to take the plunge. It's fine, there's like legitimately water right here. And if I just take the little piece of lava right here, then that should be perfect. This is actually taking so long. I know it's like obsidian, but still it's taking forever. A few moments later. Now I just gotta get my flint and steel and it'll be perfect. Can I just, oh, my charges work. Actually, no, I'm getting a flint and steel cause there was this one time I remember this gas came in and blew up my portal. I had no way of getting back except for dying. And you know, Hardcore Minecraft ain't gonna let me do that. Honestly, I think I just spawned in the best biome. Like, look at this. Like, it's got the red wood, which is what I was going to go and search for, because it's got these ugly whatever these are. See, I told you these gas would be around. Oh, that... I think it's actually gonna destroy me soon. See, now the thing is, I'm planning on making my hotel, like, massive. I don't know where I was going with that. I feel like I was gonna say something really cool, but then I just... Oh God. So it's been about two hours of mining and so far this is basically all I have mined. And honestly, I don't even have a full chest. But in my build, I'm gonna also be using some overworld materials, so I better go gather them as well. I just walked back out and look how many zombie pigmen there are. There's at least like six of them. Now obviously, I'm gonna choose one of the greatest overworld materials, cobblestone. Yay. Oh, hello. What are you doing in my house? Get out. Oh, that was a bad idea. That was an awful idea. Well, that was really, really silly of me, but he won't come back. <laughs> After a long three hours, I finally have one full chest of blocks, so I can finally begin the construction of my awful hotel. And you know, since this is going to be awful, like I've said probably like a million times, it's going to be sort of floating above the ground, so then I don't have to clear out the land. For some reason, whichever way I go, it keeps taking me to the mangrove forest. Or the oak forest and it's like <sighs> trying to find this place was so hard and then it just I can't leave oh well, I guess if that's the case I'll just build it here on the edge well, for starters I gotta mark it out now you're probably watching this and like hmm those pillars aren't very straight and I'm like yeah it's because it's gonna be all wonky so I gotta find the center somewhere well, let's just call it here yeah, that seems good. And back up I go. Now I'm gonna build like this sort of like frame thing over there into the middle. So it's gonna be like a circle. Pillar number one, that that is the pinnacle of beauty. Yeah, look look how amazing that is. Right now it has no way to get up there, so I'll build a little staircase out of nether wild. I'll do one of those basic ones where it's like a nine by nine. Now that I'm really thinking about it, I didn't think about how logistical this would be to build. Hmm. Uh, maybe I'll build like a rectangle and like it'll like sort of even out, I guess. Now, according to my calculations, this is going to be a perfect square. And by calculations, I mean I'm just guessing and I forgot what number I was up to. So right now, I'm just filling in the flooring because that will give me like a sort of accurate representation on what I need to do, I think. But the one thing I probably should add is torches, because I don't want it to be nighttime and then suddenly there's like, ooh, I'm in your home. That's a mob saying that, by the way. I'm I'm not going to your house. I don't know you. Two seconds later. I just zoned out for a little bit and suddenly I'm like a hundred blocks in the air. Oh. I think I'm just gonna build like a few rooms down the corner, give them that nice ocean looking view, but no windows, that's too fancy. Wouldn't you love to be a guest at my hotel? You would. That was a statement, not a question. I have to go back to my chest and get more cobblestone. Ah! Ah! So inconvenient. 
But I mean, at least this gives me a chance to get some torches at least. And now because I'm so kind, I'm gonna give them a matching floor with a matching ceiling and fill it up with netherrack. You see how it doesn't match in there? It's because I don't care. And look, you have your first hotel room. It's empty right now. It's gonna stay like that. Just kidding. What kind of hotel renovator do you think I am? They get one crafting table. That's all. I just realized I should probably add a reception desk. So I'll put that here. Now I think for my next room, I'm gonna like go around in a little circle and build them all around the place. But I'm gonna build this one sort of more out on the edge. Beautiful, and I'll fill the rest of the flooring up with this cause why not? And as the owner of this, I'm gonna add one little circle on top. Cause you know, I wouldn't want, you know, those phantoms to fly down and kill my hotel guests when they're trying to sleep. Because I don't want to get sued, I'll add this little protective barrier to stop them from falling off the edge. Now for this one, I'm gonna have it be like, you just sort of run off the edge, follow the frame down a little bit, and then you'll get to your room right here in the corner. Cause nothing else screams hotel like actual screams of people running. Guys, I'm serious. Have you ever stayed in a hotel before? That's, that's, it's wild. Well, this one, because it's a lot lower, I'm gonna make it taller so that it can still be at like an equal height to the rest. <gasps> Black clutch. I can't see anything. You know, I think I'm gonna add a sign here. If you fall off, you cannot sue me. Smiley face. That way, I save all of my money and, uh, you die. Legally, of course. Hee 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 hee. I kind of feel like just filling in the walls for a little bit, just for no reason. I'm giving this wall more of like an open feel. Not because I don't feel like feeling that in. No, 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 no. <laughs> Silly thought that would be. And now I'm gonna build a little hotel room out the side here. I'm gonna put this as one of my luxury class bedrooms. Like, look at this. You're telling me this humongous space here isn't gonna be a luxury to live in temporarily? You'd be lying to me if you told me that. Now that I think about it, I should probably put torches on the roof so that mobs don't spawn up here, but... Yeah. Yeah. Mm, no. No, I don't want to. If the mobs spawn in, then that's their choice. Who am I to say that they can't? I'm dumb, I almost just jumped off the edge. But I didn't though, and that's what counts. Safety first, guys. <sighs> Let's go, me. Oh, this is looking magnificent so far. Gorgeous. And, uh, guys, why are you following me? This is so weird. Get your crusty, messy feet off of my beautiful carpet. This is not okay. Not a paying customer. Now, I was just constructing the wall when I realized how nice of a design this was, so I obviously had to change it. Well, at least I fixed my entrance up. As I'm adding more rooms to the walls as I go up, I'm thinking of maybe bringing it towards the center to make it sort of like a triangle ending. And then it's just gonna be a staircase up, I guess? And I seem to have run out of wood, so instead of crafting tables in the rooms, I'm just gonna put this little light. <gasps> Skeleton? Oh, what are you trying to do here? The audacity seriously trying to knock me off. How rude. Skeletons these days have no manners. So far it's like slowly closing in just like how I want. But I do gotta add some more rooms though because I kind of forget that that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Which is just gonna section off here and be a nice even square. Which is not what I'm going for but mm, I suppose. I can let it slide this one time. Ooh, I've only got a few blocks left. That's actually so annoying. <sighs> I'm gonna have to downgrade these rooms. Shroom light there. Decorate it with torches once again. And this is beautiful. And now I just gotta finish off this roof part, which I guess is just gonna extend up here. To be honest, it kind of looks really fun to walk down because you got all these different platforms just all over the place. And I think I kind of ruined what I was trying to do. I was supposed to make the worst hotel ever, but to be honest, this is kind of beautiful. Beautiful in an atrocious, ugly way. Oh, there's creepers. Uh, I did not invite you here. Uh, get out. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I did not mean- <gasps> Oh, there's creepers there. Creepers there. Oh my god, this is terrifying. I never knew something could be so scary. Okay. 
Hit and run, hit and run. That's how I beat creepers. But now since this is all finished, you get the grand tour of the place. So picture this, you know, you're looking for a nice place to rest. You come upon this, you're like, Oh wow, this is the most gorgeous thing I have ever seen. So you walk inside and you are greeted by this open, beautiful living and reception. So you walk in, you see no one's there, but you go, you steal the key. Then you go back out and you go and find your room. And then, you know, you go out here, the risky route, which is what I like to call the nice tall open space. You get this air ventilation going on. And I think you would love this if you were like, a phantom. You head upstairs to this floating island and you have one crafting table, a lonesome room for a lonesome person. But then you continue on where you go to this nice open living space. You can veg out, watch the watch the walls as they are... Uh, I don't know, you can see the patterns and stuff. I'm just the owner, I'm not the marketer. Ugh, seriously. And then you got this longish room, you know, perfect. You could add a shower here, but uh, I'm not paying for that. And then you go up once more. And you go this big, ginormous living space, but you know, you hit your head on the ceiling, so this is for short people. And because I built a staircase so high, you can climb it. And that's about all you can do here at the Luxury Hotel, the worst hotel to ever exist. So if you ever stop by my hardcore world, make sure to drop in.